Hello! You're probably watching this video because iTunes error 3194 occurred while updating or restoring an iDevice. And that error code means that iTunes can't contact the Apple Update server. Because we're still talking about iTunes, this problem could be caused by many different things. Let's begin with the basics. At first, you obviously should have a connection to the internet. Then you should close programs, which are using an internet connection in the background. I remember back having issues because of the beautiful and absolutely not obsolete program Skype. Close the programs and try again. If you're still getting the error code 3194, the next step would be to turn off your antivirus software and your firewall. To do that, click here and search for the icon of your antivirus program, click it with the right mouse button and deactivate real-time protection. Then hit the Windows key on your keyboard, search for firewall and deactivate it. Sorry by the way that my PC is set up in German. Now try again to update or restore your iDevice. If the iTunes error code still occurs, you'll have to edit a file in your Windows folder. To find that file, open your C disk, go to Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC. The first file in this folder should be called Hosts. Before we are going to edit this file, we should create a backup. Alright, now you open the Hosts file by doing a double click. You choose the editor and now you should see an editor window similar to this one. The lines we are interested in are these two. If they are existing in your host file, you should delete them. If you open the file and the lines weren't existing, you should paste them. And just to give you an idea what the job of these lines is, they are needed if you try to downgrade or restore your iDevice to a signed IPSW. Above that, I saw many variations of these two lines circulating on the internet. In my case, these worked fine, but you can also try this. Especially with the last way, I solved error 3194 on my computer. If it worked for you too, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Above that, I'm very curious which way worked for you. So let me know in the comments. If this video didn't help you to get rid of that problem, you have to take a look at your router settings or to solve the problem very easily with just using another PC. Have a nice day. Adios.